finally, I'm here at the cellar door to taste your award-winning wines, Bruce. Wonderful, glad so, you could be here. Masan. Let's get started. <laughs> and we're having the Masan because mm -hmm. this really is what Tabilk is all about. Yeah. You know, we're internationally recognised as the best maker mm -hmm. for this variety. We have some of the oldest vineyards and some of the largest vineyards of the variety. And wow. it's been just constant work on this. And this is where really you could say the history of Tabilk mm. is playing out and turning into the wine because all the longevity, yep. uh, Eric Purbrick is the winemaker, then handing over to Alistair as oh. the winemaker. You know, only two winemakers over 90 odd years of winemaking, all that experience wow. has been focused on this variety. Goes into this and bottle. And a couple of others. <laughs> That's why it's so good. Wow. It's just yeah. everything that's there. So to me, this is what brings the history to life. It's just seeing the quality in yeah. the wine. And anyway, I can tell you all of this. Yeah. Everything is about it. You're here to taste it. <laughs> I'm so here let's to taste do that. it. And so we, we've got two to taste today. You've got two to taste mm -hmm. here. One is our current release, which yep. is the 2017 okay. vintage. Then we're going to look at a wine that's six years older mm -hmm. from the two, 2011. Yep. Made exactly the same way, mm -hmm. no changes there. So the difference in the wine is from the ageing process. Okay. Because Masan is one of the white wines that does age particularly well. Yes. And, and you can see to the naked eye the difference in colour. Correct. Yeah. So as white wines age, they deepen in colour. Yes. They start off with this light pale straw colour, get to a, a deeper straw, mm -hmm. and they pick up gold hints. Wow. When they're about, you know, eight years old yep. to ten years old, from about twelve years on, mm -hmm. they start to pick up some amber hints as well. So right. quite deep in the colour. Okay. So white wines get deeper in colour. Mm -hmm. Red wines conversely get lighter as they get older. Right, right, but we're going to stay on the white wines let's stay, today. Let's stay focused. <laughs> okay, let's stay focused. So first of all, the 2017 vintage. Okay. So we'll pour that for you. Nice light colour. And now, I'm going to make you work. Because you're going to describe the wine. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Let's see how I go. Yeah. I've been picking up a few things along the I'm way. I'm sure here. you have, and I'm sure you already knew some things to start with. As well. <laughs> okay, well, I'm looking at the colour here. Yeah. It's very light, as I said. Hmm. Smells lovely. Mm -hmm. How okay. would you describe the smell? <sighs> fruity. Good start. But, Can we but still light fruity. Yeah. Can we define what sort of fruit? Citrus. 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 Anything else? Maybe other fruits. Well, I'm, I'm like I can smell a little honey. Okay. Yes. And you're quite right there. That's really good because honey is the hallmark of Masan. Right. Okay. So one of the distinguishing features okay. of what Masan is. Let's have a look at this slightly older okay. wine. What other fruits am I meant to be smelling? <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to tell me. <laughs> Sometimes there's some uh, light stone fruits in there. Right. Um, right. In the occasional vintage, not every year, I actually see some ginger in right. there. And I tell you, they're my wow. favourites. I love the ones with ginger in them. Ginger, that they would have a, really a, bit of a good. kick. Not to, the, not, a, not to that extent of having a kick. It's more saying, oh, there's something in the background there. Wow. And then that's ginger. So they're the ones I really like. I don't think I'd be able to pick that up. <laughs> I'm sure you would. Quite, yeah. practice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is the... This is the 2011 vintage. Okay. So we're now looking at a wine that is seven years old. Wow. So it's picked up, it's been in bottle maturation. So it's been matured in the bottle. Yes. First thing we notice, of course, is a deeper colour. Yes, look at that colour. And a heavier, stronger aroma. Correct, yeah. More honey. More honey. Yes. That's it. <laughs> that's it. You've got it. All right. So as the Masan ages, mm. it goes from this light honey to a deeper honey, yep. to a honeysuckle, and then to a marmalade. Okay, yeah. Characters. Yes. Yeah. So you can choose how, you know, the age yep. that you like the wine at, yep. depending on how you uh, enjoy the wine. Mm. So personally, I like them when they're about 10 years old, okay. and they've got that lovely honey, honeysuckle character. Yep. Still got great bright acidity, so they're yep. easy to match to food. Okay. Yeah. Now back to taste the, the younger right. wine taste first. the younger one. That's really nice. It's history in a bottle. History, liquid <laughs> history. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So it has got that sweetness, but not too sweet. Light, crispy. Okay, fruitiness. S fruitiness. It's a, it's a dry wine. <laughs> it's a dry and, no and the citrus you can this is one definitely of the, taste. This is one of the difficulties we, ha we have with describing wine, because mm. there's a honey character in there, mm. and we associate honey with, with sweet. Yes. So as soon as we smell or detect honey, we, we think sweet but it is actually a dry, dry wine. Dry, yeah. Yeah. Mm, that's really lovely for 2017. Mm -hmm. This gets better, does it? <laughs> to your taste, you tell me. Okay. <laughs> but you're saying the light is great with seafood and 
it's an alfresco kind of drink. Absolutely right. So you know, that's how I like them. Yeah. Um, the light, in matching wine and food, I match mainly on the weight of the wine to the weight of the food. So okay. the lighter the wine, the lighter the food. So yeah. uh, lightish food, seafood it is absolutely great. Mm -hmm. uh, but also you're quite right, as an alfresco wine, if you've got friends around, you're chatting, uh, having a good time, where yeah. wine's not the focus, but it's part of the event. Right. It's a great style, a younger okay. wine. Now this one. Mm. I'm getting a toffee flavour, mm. the, like the back of my teeth. Yep. Okay. Yum. So that's a development of the honey oh, yeah, Yes. Absolutely honey. right. Oh, that's lovely. So that's I how really like this one. Yeah. I'll have a case, thank you. Only one? <laughs> <laughs> no, that, and that's the development of the Masan. So, right. you know, it's, it's, there's not a lot of Australian wine, mm -hmm. that white wine, that develops well under age. But yeah. there are some pockets of wines that yeah, are around right. that do, and Tabilk's Masan is one of those wines. Yes. Uh, total potential for this one is something like 20 years. Really? If 20 you can, yeah. Not average, at my house, though. It right, won't last so long. It goes too quick. <laughs> well, the average person would think you can't keep a bottle of white wine. No. For more than a few years. Correct. At least. That's yeah. right. But the uh, Masan, yeah. Tabilk Masan. Tabilk Masan. Mm. You know, there are other Masans out there that aren't made in the same way we yeah. make them, don't have the longevity uh, that yeah. we've got. As I said, we've only got, you know, 100 years of experience of making the variety or right. coming up to 100, yeah, 1927 onwards. <laughs> wow. Um, so, yeah, we've got that experience. We know how to do it and yeah. how to extract the, the best out of the wine. And of course, their standouts in the Halliday Wine Companion this year, every year. Pretty much every yep, year, but yep. absolutely correct. Yes. Absolutely right, yes. Well, if James likes it, it's got to be good, right? Absolutely right, <laughs> yes. How can we have you? <laughs> well, thank you so much, Bruce, for having me here at Tabilk. I've had a wonderful time, and I will take a few cases of uh, oh, this one. <laughs> this was, thank you for coming along. We really love sharing what we have to offer about our history and why that history makes our wine so good. <laughs>